Good morning, guys. So I'm right out at the range. Um, yeah, I get a lot of questions about uh, MREs. I don't know why, because like there's a million people who post videos about them all the time. But I think I go over what my favorite ones are. So my favorite one is this one. It's the Mexican chicken stew. Uh, I do see a lot of, and it kind of takes the fun out of everything. Is a lot of people will grab a knife, cut across the top. Correct way to open MRE is you grab your thumbs here, right, and you just pull it apart. And yeah, it's, it can be difficult because these things are tightly sealed, but whatever, right? You pull out everything. Like I said, I'm on the range. Last year, I shot terrible. Um, it was my first range on the Army, and I uh, never used a CCO before, right? Never even heard of a CCO in my life. And this time, I used NACOG, RCO, whatever you guys know it as, and I shot a lot better. So, so inside this MRE, we have... The main meal, right? The Mexican chicken stew. We have mixed fruit. We have first strike energy bars. We got crackers. We got chocolate drink powder. We got cheese filled pretzels, or which are also known as combos, which, whatever. And then we got some cheese spread and. Just like I'm gonna say it right now, when I was in the Marine Corps, very rarely did we ever use heaters because you never really had time to. But I'm on a range, so I have time to. So I see a lot of people mess the heaters up. So when you open the heater, right, there's a line here that says do not fill, overfill, whatever. You open this up, you pour a little bit in here, right? And then a lot of people will just hope that it gets hot. You're supposed to need it, right? So you go like this. All right, this is loud. Like that. Right, you should be able to see the steam coming out, right? That means that you did a good job with your heater. This cardboard holder right here, like this, put it aside, and then you just let it sit for a while. The bag that the MRE comes in, right, is not completely trash. It's not out of play. So you can do is, for the Mexican chicken stew, I take the crackers and I take the cheese spread. And I'll, like, you know, beat them up. Pause. And um, and kneading just means like rubbing on it. Pause. And because this thing right here ends up becoming a bowl, right? So I basically take all this stuff inside, throw it in here, put like this, mash it around, and then you just chow mein, you know? I'm gonna open some of this stuff. I'm not gonna eat it because I'm trying to eat better a little bit. But these are, this is what it looks like. It's just combos. Literally, it's just cheese combos. It's just a shitty version of a cheese combo. Um, a terrible chocolate energy bar. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you this shit is great. I'm not lying to you. I don't like energy bars. I mean, the combos are okay. And then there's mixed fruit. I don't eat the mixed fruit beverages. I have never drank them because I don't drink coffee. So you take this lovely uh, kibbles and grab your spoon. All right, so this is what it looks like. I know. Chef Boyardee, right? And just like this, you try to dump them in the bag. Take your pretzel or your crackers. Boom, boom, boom. I had slight difficulties opening up the cheese. I got it open though. Take your cheese, put it in there. All right, you got your cheese, your crackers, whatever. You put a spoon, go like this, or you go like this. Close it down like this, fold it in like this, and then you just like kind of like mash it around. This is how I grew up in the core, I should eat it in my Fold it back again. Like this, and boom. You got your taco in a bag, you know what I'm saying? Right here, and then uh, Chef Boy RD. If you like the video and you want to see more, y'all can just ask, but that's, that's an MRE. That's how the process of making an MRE, eating an MRE, and everything like that. So, I appreciate y'all. Have a good day.